Evening everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's W3 here. So in today's video we're going to um, show you how you can um, send a file to your target that just seems like a normal JPEG, normal picture file, when in fact when they actually click it to load up that file and view it, it actually loads up the executable or the malware that you've hidden with it in the background and they are none the wiser. So to do this, we've got a Kali JPEG, which I downloaded just off the internet. It's a normal picture JPEG. I then uploaded it to a um, website image converter to download the Kali.icon, so .ico file. And we've also got this Python file here, which is called test py file. And on the uh, test py file, we've just got this here, import web browser, web browser .open. It opens up Google search with malware worked. That's to um, stand in for the malware that you could potentially put with this. So first of all, we need to create the executable. So I'm going to use um, py installer for this. So py installer dash w no, dash w makes it so when you hit the executable, the um, command prompt like black command prompt window doesn't load up with it for whatever reason so dash w and then we do dash dash one file and then we'll do test.py and press enter so whilst this is um creating the relevant folders and the executable um i'll go into a little bit about the um what you could potentially use with this because obviously, yeah, if you're going to put malware with it, you kind of need to um, be able to beat the antivirus or defender. But there is um, some code on one of my videos about getting the passwords that are saved in the Chrome browser. You could probably quite easily put that into an executable and make it do a post request with all those username and passwords to a command and control center or email them to you. And the antivirus would be none the wiser. So that's just a quick, easy example of how you could even do that with and get passwords just by someone apparently clicking a JPEG file. Anyway, I'm going to exit this now. So we've got our disk, disk folder, which is disk distribute. We'll take this test file. We'll plonk it out here. I'm now going to delete the rest of them because I don't need them. So we've got test. We can get rid of that as well. So I'm going to double click on the test now and show you that it works. So I'm going to double click and it should load up Firefox, which yep, it's loaded up Firefox. And as you can see, it's loading up Google search with malware worked, which there's already one here from when I did it before. And uh, yeah, here we go. Google search malware worked. OK, cool. So we know it works. So now we are going to create that um, sort of JPEG file looking type thing that will execute this executable in the background so we're going to load up WinRAR and as we can see I'm on the desktop here already so we've got test.exe Kali JPEG and Kali underscore icon dot ICO so we'll select all three then we go to add now we've got the options sort of menu we're going to click create SFX archive compression method will be best now we're going to rename this to um, test jpeg like that we go to advanced then we click on um, sfx options we go to update we go extract and update files for the overwrite mode we go overwrite all files for text and icon we go to the bottom it says load sfx icon from file we click browse we click the kali icon that we created um, with our jpeg from another website we do that, that's fine. We go to setup, run after extraction. So we're going to just do test.exe, which will be this exe here. And then we will do um, the Kali JPEG, so Kali.jpg. Now, once we create this, we don't need any of these files. So once I've created this JPEG executable type thing, I'm going to delete all these as well to show you that we these aren't needed at all anyway. So now we're going to go to modes, we go unpack to temporary folder, silent mode, we will do hide all. We go to advanced, uh, nothing here, we go to module, nothing here, modes, done that. Uh, 
think everything's done. Looks like it. Okay, so we'll press OK. Um, da, da, da. I think that is everything. We'll soon find out. So I'm going to press OK. We're creating it now. And we've created it. So we can press X. Now, as we can see, we've just got a test.jpg here. Okay, so we've got the test.jpg, which is here. Now, I did actually have to pause the video quickly, turn my Windows antivirus off, or I had to put an exception in for um, the file types of exe, because for some reason it's saying that it's malware, even though the lines of code in the exe only open up a web browser. Now, I did try this out about a week ago, and it actually worked fine on some malware that I had. But then, obviously, because it's malware, I was on purposely trying to get around the antivirus. So maybe that is why. You know, obviously, there are ways to um, execute EXEs and get past the antiviruses, because it happens all the time. So, anyway, I just thought I'd let you know, because you're going to try this out, no doubt. And then your antivirus will pop off and you'll be like, what's going on? That's why. But in a real scenario with real malware, you obviously do everything you can to get around it. This is just to show you how to execute an executable from a JPEG. So we've got the test.jpg. Now I'm going to delete all these files with the exe, the picture, and work because we don't need it. And I'm going to delete it to prove it. So I just deleted it and I'm going to empty the recycle bin. So this JPEG will pop up the... Um, image like a normal jpeg but because we've got the exe in there as well it's going to run the executable which will open up my mozilla web browser to a google search of malware work so we're going to click on it now and as we can see it's loaded up the picture like a normal picture would and then the background the executable has work, um, been running and the executable was meant to open up my web browser with a Google search of malware worked, which it has done. Malware worked. So, yeah, the web browser popping up, that's the executable running, just to prove it's running. So, there we have it, everybody. An exe could have been working in the background whilst the, the target is looking at the picture they just clicked on and they wouldn't know any different. Now, obviously, the antivirus and Windows Defender, that's one that's something you'd have to get around it is possible but that's not into in the scope of today's video anyway that's the um end of this video i know i was a little bit late with it well quite late but i um yeah i've done it now anyway so hope you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button hit that like and i'll see you in the next video goodbye